We'll begin with the first mistake that English learners make. I told to them, this is absolutely wrong. And the correct way is, I told them. Because the word tell does not take to after that immediately. Tell takes object like tell me, tell her, tell them, tell you. So I told them is the correct way. But you can say, say to them or say to her, say to me. But when we have a direct object, we prefer to use tell, told, told. Here are few examples to understand this. She told him to clean the shelf. They did not tell me to wait. See here, I haven't used to after told and to after tell here. Let's move on to mistake number two. Thus why. This is the most common mistake that I hear. Thus why. This is wrong. The correct one is that's why. Or you can say that is why. Which means because of this, therefore. Now we use this that's why, or that is why after a statement. Uh, when we make a statement and we want to conclude saying something, we say because of this. That's why. That is why. Not does why. Be careful. Now look at these examples here. She won a lottery. That's why she is very happy. You are too young. That's why you fail to understand this. Okay, here is the third mistake. Congratulations for. But the correct one is congratulations on. So whether you use it as a noun or a verb, you have to use on. Congratulate, I congratulate you on your success. Congratulations on your success. Look at these examples here. Hey, congratulations on getting the first rank. She congratulated me on my success. Do not say for my success. For getting the first rank. Be careful. Shall we look at the fourth one? Discuss about something. This is one of the most common mistakes. Discuss about something. This is wrong. What is the correct way? Discuss something. It is because the word discuss itself means talk about. So, if you use about again, that is redundant. I mean, using the word again. So, discuss about means talk about about. That's not necessary. So, discuss something. Now, look at these examples. We briefly discussed buying a new car. Remember, there is no about here. We briefly discussed buying a new car. Look at the second example. Have you discussed the problem with anyone? Don't say, have you discussed about the problem? Have you discussed the problem with anyone? But, look at this here. We use discuss as a verb and we don't use about. But, when we use discussion, a noun form of this, we can use either on or about. We had a discussion with them about the differences between Britain and the US. <laughs> Let's move on to the fifth one. I wrote the exam. Now, especially students, they, they make this mistake. I wrote the exam is absolutely wrong. Then, what can you say about exam, test? This is it. You can say, I took the exam or I did the exam. Also, in Britain English, in formal English, formal English, we use sit, sat, sat. I sat the exam yesterday. I took the exam, I did the exam, I sat the exam. If you want to know more about using this word exam and the collocations, word combinations with the word exam, so I leave a card here above, you can check that link and then watch my video. Okay, now, look at these examples. You have to take exams at the end of the year. How did you do in the exam? Don't say, how did you write in the exam? Of course, students write answers in the exam. Write answers is okay, but you cannot say, write exam. We have a few more example sentences here. I failed English exam. You can say, I failed English exam. Do not say, I failed in English exam. 
that's wrong look at the second sentence which is wrong but you can say I failed in my duty so when you talk about your responsibility or duty you can say fail in duty a fail in responsibility but when you talk about a test or exam don't use in before the subjects name let's look at number six she is suffering with asthma this is asthma don't say asthma this is asthma she is suffering with asthma this is wrong the correct way is she is suffering from asthma the problem is with the preposition with you have to use from she is suffering from asthma look at these examples she has been suffering from cancer for two years suffering from the writer suffered from ill health for most of his life suffer from now that you have learnt suffer is followed by from let me tell you something there are situations when you need to use suffer alone without any preposition like this he suffered minor injuries maybe in an accident the company suffered huge losses so be careful with these word combinations so you can you can get better at english if you follow these things now let's move on to number seven she born in Nellore. this is again one of the more um, common mistakes made by english learners she born in Nellore. clearly there is something missing here what's missing was is missing she was born in Nellore. actually look at this the verb bear means to bring a child into this world or to give birth to a child now that is active voice to give birth to a child but she was born in Nellore. Uh, look at this example here I was born when we say I was born it means I was given birth by someone my mother I was given birth this is passive voice so you are supposed to use passive voice here she was born in Nellore. look at these examples Gayatri was born and brought up in Chennai the girl was born with a hole in her heart if the subject is plural you can say were they were born in Nellore. let's move on to number eight they went to upstairs the problem here is um, with the preposition to we should not use this preposition here before the words upstairs and downstairs you should not use to or from any preposition here they went upstairs they are upstairs they were upstairs don't use a preposition before upstairs and downstairs look at these examples he heard glass breaking and ran upstairs to see what had caused it don't say ran to upstairs he heard glass breaking and ran upstairs to see what had caused it I went downstairs to answer the phone upstairs downstairs no preposition now mistake number nine I not did the work I not did the work this is wrong the correct way of saying it is to use either simple past tense or present perfect tense depending on whether you use time or not I did not do the work yesterday here I clearly mentioned the time reference word yesterday past adverb so I, I could use did and do simple past tense but here I haven't mentioned any time so I have not done the work would you like to see a few more examples I did not bring the books yesterday I have not brought any books that's up to you the choice is yours if you want to use time reference adverb use simple past tense otherwise present perfect tense or you can choose to use either simple past or present perfect based on the question the speaker I mean somebody asked let's move on to the number 10 mistake number 10 I scored three marks <laughs> common mistake again I scored three marks apostrophe yes the problem is with the apostrophe here I scored three marks look at that word there without any apostrophe by the way let's see when we use apostrophe 
We use apostrophe to show when a number or letter is left out. Look at this example here. We usually say I am, especially in written English, but when we speak, we put them together and in a contracted form and then we say I'm, I'm. Here we have left out A, the letter A. To suggest that we have left out a letter, we use apostrophe. And look at this here. We have left out two digits here, one nine. Instead of saying 1985 or writing 1985, we have written apostrophe 85. That's 1985. Look at rule number two. We use apostrophe before or after S to show possession. I mean, that somebody, somebody owns something or something belongs to somebody. Vikram's car. It means the car belongs to Vikram. Baby's leg. Okay, you understand it easily. So, we use apostrophe here. Now, the third rule is, we use apostrophe before the letter S to show the plural of a letter or number. Like, there are five threes in my mobile number. There are six sevens in his mobile number. Okay, I hope these mistakes and their corrections have helped you. I, I think you, you like this video. If you really liked this video, please like it, hit the like button, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.